Alright. Battle plan. Battle plan's really good. Shield ball's not bad either. We have some soul tithe stuff if we decide we want to go that route. Concentrate. That is the opposite of what we want on daughter. <laughs> oh well. Uh, for this one, spirit shield's really good. Diversion is really good. Let's go with a diversion. Yeah, with the starting spell that lets us sift a card out of the deck. That's a good one. I will cleanse this place. Okay. This looks really nice here at the end. Yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking, one-man army, right? Like, maybe we should have just taken out, like, all those lashing kicks. <laughs> almost all of them for, uh... For just, like, even random repeating deflections. Something to think about. That was a very, uh... Weird situation we ended up in. We didn't have great damage or great block. We just had, like, the one really good source of damage with the Thousand Fists. And the Squid Stance was, like, a pretty good source of block. But it's only delay block, you know? Okay. Um, another option is that I could have swapped over to Spirit Ward. I thought the weak would be better, though. I thought the weak would be useful. Uh, let's actually look at what we're getting here. Ooh. There's a lot of cool stuff here, huh? Some Death Strike. Second chance if it's really early. Where's the second chance? Oh, it's there. Hmm. <laughs> Probably not going to be very useful in that case, but you know, we're already pathing through it, I guess. Why not? Bloodbath's a cool card. Surefoot, maybe. Eh. Let's just look at these guys, huh? Okay, we're definitely not going there. Sorry, Diversion. Seems very unlikely that we go here as well. This this is just so valuable, this arc here. Let's see, from up here, this is the only connection. But we could come from below. Let's take it or leave it on. It is. Nonetheless, we have no voids. We could theoretically pick up a void here and here. And then carry them all the way until the shrine. A little bit sketchy, but it's an option. Let's do our quick deck edit. Uh, definitely going to toss a couple unleashes. Get a diversion, get a shield wall. Do we want the battle plan uh, this early on? Hmm. It's okay. I think we'll just go with this. Battle plan can come in later. Uh, oh, how many upgrades are we actually getting? One, two... Dang, only two upgrades? That's rough. Daughter really likes upgrades. Uh, hmm, I'll go ahead and use this now. Purge this to get the burning down. Yeah, so we're going to start with six burning each fight now. Which is... it can be a little rough. There's no denying that. But I think we can make it. We'll just hold on to the shield wall. That's basically all the block we need. Yeah, any other ability. This is plenty of block. Let's go ahead and Void Kiss you. And then we'll just take you out. Throw up the shield wall. Uh, so we're not going to be able to use this in the diversion. We'll just toss uh, an Unleash. 
Corruption Daughter, definitely the slowest deck to get started. But her potential at the top level is very, very high. She can deal truly enormous damage. If you can make it through the early game, and there's some things that will definitely help you crutch your way through the early game. Maybe we'll be getting one from the uh, Sins event that we're about to roll into. Oh, okay, we're getting three upgrade points. The first fight had one. Uh, Void Kisses are usually my go-to starting upgrades. Draw two, discard two. So good. Otherwise, Unleashes are very nice to upgrade. Getting up to 100% corruption damage and the discard going up to two. It's a big deal. But the Void Kiss helps more in the very early game. So that's what we're going to start with. We'll see if there's a sin we want to take here. Our options are gr uh, Gluttony. On draw, it replaces itself. You draw another card. And you can use it to discard two cards, gain overcharge and delay draw. Not bad at all for us. We do like to discard cards. Lust, which weakens enemies and it wants them to have lots of weak and vulnerable to deal some damage. Probably not going to happen. We don't really have any debuffs. And I don't think we're picking up almost any debuffs. Yeah, we're, we're getting literally no debuffs. So that one's not happening. Uh, and then there's the Wrath, which lets you get a lot of rage. But rage only affects attacks. We don't have very many attacks right now. Uh, there is the, uh, the Bloodbath. So that's an option, and it does scale itself off of Rage. So we could take this, and then we pick up whatever item is here to get a second Void. We have to carry two Voids with us for quite a while, but then we can purge them at the Shrine. Bit of a gamble. Bit of a gamble. But it does sound fun, so I'm going to give it a try. Maybe it's inadvisable. I do love Wrath, though. It's my favorite sin. Such a cool card. So there it is, hanging out. Half a mind to put in the constant. Oh, actually, uh, yeah, we're, we're the daughter. What do I do? We could just take the blue stone out of the concentrate. Daughter has that special privilege. She can take stones out. Let's put this blue stone on the other Void Kiss, so it's kind of like we upgraded this one, too, now. And I do think that we want the battle plan at this point. It's going to help us discard the Void if we are unfortunate enough to draw it without any other source of discard. Cut a Cursed Shield for it. Okay. Um, of course, we always have the option of just using our spell to dump the Void as well, which I will do now. And let's just purge down a lot here. Anytime we gain excess energy from purging or from the start of the turn, we get bonus corruption from that. So, reduces the burning a lot, gives us extra corruption. Not a bad start. This guarantees the block we need. Hopefully we'll draw like a Void Kiss here. We did. Ooh. Okay, okay. So let's go Shield Wall. Purge. Purge. This is already hitting for 36. This is hitting for 20. We'll take you out. Take you out. Should be pretty easy now to handle this guy. And if you kill someone with Wrath, you get that juicy delay rage as well. So we still have 100% rage, but uh, we didn't draw the Void Kiss, which is the only other thing that actually uses the rage. We can maybe get it, though. Check this out. Play the Wreath. Now it puts two Void Coins in the deck. Use our spell to sift a Void Coin, which will cause us to draw and discard one. And there's the Void Kiss. Got him! Hell yeah. Uh, bolster for Death Strike. Not bad at all. Letting us double dip on a Void Kiss. I think I will be slotting that in. But first, let's see what the Relic here is. The Pale Butterfly. The first time each turn you draw during your turn. Draw one, discard one, gain one corruption. Well, you know what we are doing an awful lot of during our turn? Drawing. I will happily take the item for myself, accepting its curse. So we got two voids now. 
which kind of sucks, but we do have a lot of draw and discard, and the butterfly itself will help us draw and discard. We also get yet another blue stone, which I think I will put on the battle plan. Uh, and then let's go ahead and get the bolster in there. I do want that death strike. It sounds like it's going to be good. Alright, and of course, <laughs> we just draw a void. Turn one, with none of the stuff that discards. What can you do? We'll dump the other one at the very least. Purge down. Um, do I just get rid of this void? Honestly, I might. This guy gives you so many. Yeah, I'll do it. We're not wasting any energy in the process. Because we still have five out of five here. That's really annoying. I would love to play this, but then we'll take one. I guess we'll shield wall. How much are we dealing here? 36. Not bad. Okay, the ra uh, the wreath. Very good amount of block here. And then we'll go ahead and... Let's purge you. Can hit you with a void kiss. There's all the block we need. And we got Void Coins in the deck to do a long chain of discards with, potentially. Yeah, the Wrath has been really helpful, man. Okay, so we didn't draw anything to let us discard, but we can just sift the other coin. Discard the Dazed. Uh, I guess we'll be bolstering, so we don't need you. Go ahead and bolster. Purge this off. Now we can double Void Kiss. Plenty of block here. Uh, battle plan, not necessary. Mm, I don't think we will play that for 13. Not quite enough. Not much to do this turn. Without any purges, the Wrath hits for 18, which isn't all that much. I mean, Vo uh, the Unleashes hit for 14 for one mana. But, uh... Eh. I guess I'll play it anyway. All we really need is, like, two Unleashes, and he's basically dead. Discard the Diversion. Yeah, okay. Right. Got him next turn. Uh, let's let's purge so that we can actually deal damage. There we go. That's probably a good choice. <laughs> okay, and we got ourselves an inconsequential, even more sifting. Help out with these stupid voids. Help us get more corruption online quickly. Uses the diversion. So let's go ahead and cut... Uh, I think we can cut one more cursed shield here. This guy's going to scale up a lot. I'm just preemptively dump this void. I really do not want to draw one of those next turn. As for the cursed shield, do I keep that? Honestly, I think I can do better. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Now we can bolster, double void kiss. Dump you, and you, and you. Too much block. We don't need this. The inconsequential gets us all the block we need, and we can get rid of the final void as well. Let's see. I kind of want to hold the wreath for next turn. So I think I will. Likely to draw Wrath here. And we did. So let's go with the Wreath, and then we'll battle plan, dump out all of this. And this, and this. 
And then we can purge. Let's go ahead and send the other void while we're at it. Get a nice 48 damage in there. Okay, um, anything else we want to sift? Not particularly. So I guess we'll just go ahead and do the inconsequential. Send, uh... Send one unleash. And we'll hold the bolster. This will let us double dip on the next Void Kiss, which we're almost certainly going to draw. Yeah, just like that. So this is all the block we need already. We can dump you. Uh, I guess we'll get rid of this as well. And we'll dump that. Send a void. Get our block. These are now hitting for 19 damage. It's pretty good. Pretty good. We're closing in on a kill here. Not quite there yet, though. Okay, I guess I will play this. And if we draw Wrath, we basically just win. We drew Wrath. Goodbye. Sweet, get another upgrade point. Uh, jeez, man, we have so many... So many stones already. Where do we want to put the upgrade? Taking the blue stone out of, like, this void kiss and putting it in the diversion with an upgrade sounds pretty good, actually. Now let's our spell always trigger the pale butterfly when this is in the deck. I think I want to do that. Yeah, let's... We're gonna, we're gonna confiscate your void stone, sir. Redistribute it to those who need it. Empty Promise, we don't really want. We're not using Soul Tithe. This is our only threshold card. Uh, Redstone, might as well put it somewhere. I'm actually going to take the Blue Stone out of the battle plan. We'll put the Redstone in there. The Blue Stone can go on... Hmm. Maybe the Inconsequential. Spread out the draw and discard a bit more to give us more reliable butterfly triggers. And if we draw into an attack with battle plan, we'll have the rage. Okay, time for our first elite. Got some interesting ones here. Abandoned pet would let us lean into some soul tithe, but I'm not really too concerned about that. I think we just don't want to play much soul tithe right now. Stone sling. I said we had a lot of cards with void stones. Three this early on. It's pretty decent. Otherwise, the tool case. We have been holding cards somewhat often. And the tool case is pretty good. Although, usually we're holding block cards right now, which gives us rage. Uh, and we can't use the rage all that much. So, I don't know. I'm thinking about just Stone Sling. Unfortunately, though, we're not actually really playing the Diversion all that often. We're going to be sifting it usually, which means that it doesn't trigger the Sling. <sighs> I mean, of course, we are going to get more Void Stones, so this will scale up. I guess I'll take it. Bruce, we meet again. I'm going to save my spell, I think, and maybe use it on a diversion. Which means we're just purging, purging. I guess we'll play this thing. Purge. Hit you for 48. We're probably okay on block this turn. It would take a really bad draw. Okay, of course we drew the other void. Great. That's fine, that's fine. That's what this is for. Start discarding these unleashes, build up our corruption. Uh, and the inconsequential here gets us the rest of the block. So now we can just start cycling through the deck. 
Uh, we'll hold the shield wall. This will give us some rage, which I guess helps the void kiss. Oh, wait, no. We took the stone sling. It does not give us rage. We did get two delay block there, though, so that's, that's cool, I guess. I could also just wreath for void coins. Yeah, actually, you know what? I think this is better. Draw the void coins. Dump them both. Uh, we can get rid of the last burning. We can inconsequential the void. Oh. oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> right on time, Wrath. Right on time. The Stone Sling does at least help us deal with the uh, the ramping insanity. Eroding sanity, so. That's not so bad. Diversion away, another unleash. And I think it's time to actually deal some damage, huh? Let's actually deal some damage. I could kill one of the fish, even. Honestly, I kind of want to do that. Die, fish. Gonna need some more block next turn, so I'll dump this. It really stinks that we missed that uh, wrath turn, though. Okay, here we can bolster and probably kill another fish. Stinky Void. We only need one Unleash to get the kill, because we don't want the battle plan, then. Ah, oh, Wrath. Wrath, Wrath, Wrath. Yeah, keep showing up at inopportune moments. Be gone. At least we're getting extra block now from the Cursed Shield, so that's most of the block we needed. Take six, that's okay. We expected the first elite would be pretty tough with uh, the two voids in the deck. Nothing really to sift here, huh? Let's just go ahead and play the diversion out. Send A unleash, and the curse shield. The block will come from these two. And yeah, okay, he's gonna try to summon more. The Inconsequential is really bad at this point. Unleashes are almost one-shotting Ghostly Piranhas. Fight's going pretty slow here. Okay, we do have Death Strike, so this is 20 damage. This one's 18. I guess let's do that, you're dead. Don't need this curse shield. The inconsequential should get us the block we need. So let's do that. Dump the void. Don't need this. And I think it's finally time to just start dumping onto Bruce. Should be pretty easy to kill him now, I think. If we draw damage, that is. What the heck? There we go. How much is this hitting for? 30? Okay, yeah, that's actually pretty good damage already. Is that enough if we just purge everything down? Right, because... We have two more purges, so that puts us up to 100% uh, rage, right? No, it's 50 per purge. Yeah, okay, this has got to be enough, right? Yeah. Very good. This maneuver will be a nice pickup. More draw in the middle of our turn for Pale Butterfly. Can we stop drawing the void immediately, man? That would be cool. I guess we'll, uh... Are we gonna play it again? I don't really want to, honestly. 16 is a lot. I think I need the energy. Uh, we can kill you, actually. That'll save us a little bit of damage. It's really hard to kill uh, all three of these guys at once. Almost always you have to kill one of them first, and then maybe you can do a double kill. 
More often than not, I just kill them one at a time. Let's go after you. Uh, shield wall is excessive here. Bolster, we don't have any attacks left, so I'm not going to bother with it. Hmm, we could actually just kill him. Yeah, to take take two and, and kill this guy, that actually seems kind of good. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll take the two damage here. Okay, uh, inconsequential here is decent, I guess. Sure. I'm sending unleashes for now. There goes that void. And now we want to sift out infections, because they get buffed up when if we draw an infection. Right, uh, wreath will be just the right amount of block next turn, so I guess we can... Uh, Smack you a little bit. This guy's got the lowest health, so if we try and get him, that'll fill up all the combat progress. Okay, we did draw one infection. Yeah, we're gonna draw all of them at this point. Oh well. What can you do? Speaking of what to do, there's very little to do at all this turn. This hand sucks. I guess we just hold the bolster. I'm not even gonna play the void. Okay, so we've got one void coin in the deck and one in the hand. So let's get the chain going here. Interesting, we somehow actually did not draw the infection which is pretty lucky. Hmm. It's a bit of an awkward scenario. I guess we'll bolster up a Void Kiss. And we'll just block the rest with the Cursed Shield. And then we can do a reasonable sized Wrath. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill that guy. No more respawns. This dude is healthy. Let's see what bolster has. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. These are up to 19 damage. Just need the energy for now. If we can get a good wrath turn, we can kill one of them without too much trouble. Okay, how many infections? Just one. So let's dump it. Discard that. Guess we'll send one of these. Uh, we can do this for block. Send that. And yeah, we just want a really big wrath. 36, and this is another 20. Okay, yeah, so it's exactly enough to kill this guy. Goodbye. And we can totally handle one guy at this point, right? Surely this won't be an issue. Holy cow. <laughs> these are 9 block each. But these are 27 damage each. Very nice. Hey, we get a drop potion. That's a good one. Uh, do we just upgrade and unleash at this point? The inconsequential upgrade is pretty sweet, too. I think I want to upgrade and unleash, actually. We also got a green stone. If we wanted to put the green stone on, uh... I don't know, we could swap it out for the blue on the Inconsequential, so we can always sift a Void turn one. Seems a little... <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, the green stone thing, that seems a little goofy. Maneuver. It's not bad. Maybe I cut one more unleash for a maneuver. Uh, I guess that's what we'll do. Dude, what the heck? This is unreal. We can't stop drawing them in our opening hands. I, mean, I guess we're playing one this time. Uh-oh. That was one of my better cards. Upgraded and with a stone in it. Awfully rude of you there. Okay, let's just inconsequential away and unleash here, get the party started. I'm thinking it's just a reasonably large wrath here. I don't think we can do anything better than that. Yeah, let's let's even just go ahead and do this preemptively. We don't want to draw that next turn. How big of a wrath can we even make this? It's it's not even going to be that big, really. Especially if I try to hold the shield wall, which I think I will. Start with a maneuver. Uh, I guess we can battle plan as well. This is almost a full block at this point. Bolster in there. I guess we'll void kiss and see what we draw. We drew the battle plan again. Okay, well, I guess that gets us there. Kind of interesting. And we'll blindly void kiss, why not? Most of the results there were good. There's one void left in the deck. We just drew it, of course. Oh boy. Another pretty mediocre turn here. I guess I will hit him for 16. Took the Stop taking my cards with blue void stones in them. I need those. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll dump this. Big wrath. Yeah, really big wrath. Because the uh, unleashes are up to 18 at this point. So if we can get three, he's dead. Void Kisses are in the mix, too, of course. Please, oh, please stop with the Void, dude. Okay, we're good, though. We're good. And we have a Bloodbath now, which is probably going to be useful. Potentially being able to double it with Bolster... Without the upgrade to make Vulnerable happen, though, it's, mm, I don't know. We might not actually play this yet. This is, like, gonna deal, like, I don't know, 20-ish damage at the most. I don't think it's, it's really all that favorable of a comparison between Unleash. Although, it does benefit from Rage if we get it with Wrath. So if it lines up exactly that, like, we have a lot of threat on stack, and Wrath, and Bloodbath in hand, and we can purge everything because we don't actually need to block, that's a very specific scenario, man. I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to leave it. As for what we want here, uh, the Lightning Bolt Keychain is pretty useless because we don't have, like, literally any heavy cards. 
Yeah, we have one heavy card, and it's the Bloodbath that we're not playing. Like Clockwork, sometimes give us attacks back. We have hardly any attacks. I guess it's a keg of rum. And we drew the Void again. Always draw in the Void. At least we had something to deal with it this time. Okay, it's very important you don't take damage versus the Skeletal Mage. Because then he gets angry. So, I, th I think I'm going to hold this Diversion, actually. And this is going to be the play. Wait, the handle 21. We can do this, get the butterfly trigger, and we're already good. Can avoid kissing. Can wreath instead. Sure, we'll wreath and we can hold the shield wall for next turn. Yeah, see, it's like we're holding cards so often, but if we had kept that case, we would just be getting a if the, the tool case, we'd be getting a bunch of rage, and that doesn't usually do anything for us. One curse shield, one shield wall, purge off the rest of our burning, dump uh, another unleash, 36 damage, not bad. Okay, uh, I guess we'll battle plan first here, just keep scaling up these unleashes. The inconsequential gives us plenty of block now, and it dumps... Avoid. We'll avoid kiss. Just keep sending them. And I think we're gonna hold the bolster this time because we do have another void kiss coming up. And we want to make sure we get our block right. I mean, we're almost guaranteed though. It's not energy efficient to purge it, but it does give us more corruption, so I'm gonna do it. So this is the turn where we're confused. We don't want to play a whole lot of cards. Let's get rid of the Void, because this is all the black we need already. And what better to do on a turn when you're confused than just uh, Big Stupid Wrath. And yeah, we'll hold the shield wall again. This is a fight where you can usually afford to take it a little slow. As long as you're always blocking, he just doesn't really scale up enough to uh, to contest you. And the unleashes should be just about ready at this point. In fact, I think I will play this one. We'll get our block. I'm a little bit concerned about the damage next turn. I kind of want to keep this uh, Cursed Shield. It's nine block in one card. Honestly, though, I probably should purge it. Look for the Wreath. We got the Health Potion in reserve, and we're going to find a lot of potions from this keg. Hey, we got the Wreath. Love to see it. So we'll go ahead and... I don't think we need to use the Wrath anymore. So we'll just ditch it. This is all the block we need. 12 next turn, probably fine with a bolster. We're basically guaranteed that. Okay, more confusion, but it's all right. We get the void kiss here, we dump this guy. And since this is the upgraded one, I'm going to hold on to it. If we just draw a bunch of uh, unleashes here, we can kill them. Uh, we have the... yeah, we do have the diversion. Let's use that diversion. This is 74 damage. It's not quite enough yet. But we're really close. Okay, I guess we'll send this then. 
And we'll go Inconsequential, Dump the Void, Discard this Cursed Shield, Unleash Darkness, Purge, Purge, Shield Wall. Whew! Okay, this fight was a bit of a marathon, but I think it's over now. I think his fate is now sealed. A hard-fought keg of rum. Uh, well, I think we can afford at least something here. Yes, we can. The Matador Cape. This one's interesting. Uh, this requires you to discard from the hand, which we aren't actually doing on turn one all the time. A lot of the time we are discarding from the deck. So this could be pretty good. Otherwise, we have the Recycling Bin, which gives us some free upgrades. Don't know how much we really care about that. I think we'd rather have the Matador Cape. I think this one's going to be pretty good. Ten block and some weak. Sounds like a plan. We'll get ourselves a nice card pack here. Uh, yeah, still not going to go with the Bloodbath, man. Hmm, okay, well, this is a situation where we're going to discard from the hand turn one. The weak is still relevant, even if the block is not. Dump this, dump this. And I'm thinking it's just going to be a big ol' purge down here. I could keep this bolster. And I will. We'll also dump this. So, I mean, the Wrath seems like it's paid off at this point. I think I'm pretty happy that I took it. This is a meager 8 damage. Might as well get rid of the last burning. Okay, we got fear. But we wanted to discard these Unleashed Darknesses anyway, so joke's on you, Redcaps. Let's see now. That is quite a lot of damage coming. So let's try and kill one of you fellows, eh? Yeah, let's just dump this thing. Try and increase our odds of drawing more damage. Hmm. That is not what I wanted to have happen. Okay, well, I guess we're going to use the wreath and hopefully things work out. We have to be above 20 to get the bonus block on the curse shields. We're at 19. If we keep all of these, can we play them all? We have to discard two, yes? So we could play them all. Uh, 20 there is a kill, but 15 twice there is not a kill. So we can't keep them. This works out pretty nicely. Shouldn't be that hard to finish you off now. Get the Void Coin discards going. Face my wrath! Okay, we got an exploding bottle from our keg. That'll be handy to have. Vulnerable on demand if we put it in the belt. So much Soul Tide stuff, man. So much Soul Tide stuff. But we don't really have a great payoff yet. No good Threshold cards. Death's Touch is a strong card. But I don't think it's worth it. That being said, I would rather roll the Soul Roulette. If we're just getting an Uncommon anyway. Actus Reus. This is a fun one. Sure would have liked to have it a little earlier in the run, but I guess I'll take it. 
This is really nice with the stone sling, because it'll put more stones in our cards. Uh, what do we want to do here? Uh, just cleanse the voids, yeah. Those guys have been pain in the butt for too long. At this point, though, we can alter up the deck a little bit. They don't necessarily need quite as much draw and discard now. So maybe we swap out the Void Kiss for Actus Reyes? Tower Shield, I think, was, is probably going to go in as well. Somewhere. It's handy to have just this huge block. I guess... I guess I cut a Cursed Shield? Space in the deck is getting tight. Fine, I'll cut a Cursed Shield. Yeah, okay. We'll give this a try. So we don't want to discard from the hand until next turn, probably. Start sifting unleashes. I'll hold the bolster. Because we might not draw something that discards from the hand. If we do, it's not that huge of a deal. It basically cost us one corruption. Yeah, okay, so the inconsequential here gets us what we need. Which means we can dump the bolster. Guess we'll go after you with a void kiss. Ooh, wrath. Pretty nice. We'll just go for both of these. The next card we draw gets a free yellow stone. There it is, in the maneuver. Quite handy. We still need the Unleashes to be bigger, so I'm going to keep discarding them. Get rid of one of these Banes. Okay, 18 is starting to get there. Because we can get this guy up to 20 here. Now they're both weak. Uh, I, I guess we'll hold the shield wall. Continue to play it safe. This fight felt pretty good, though. Hmm. I see. Uh, this guy reflects only when he's targeted by an attack, so we can hit him with the Wrath. And it's A-OK. -okay. Let's go ahead and get our block. Eh, uh, yeah, why not? Get Wrath. No escape. You can't flee. Sorry, man, but killing you gives me void stone progress, and I need that stuff. Oh, wait, that was the... Whoops. <laughs> I forgot. That wasn't Actus Reyes. Or that wasn't Men's Reyes. It was Actus Reyes. The... We had the one that blocked instead of the one that dealt damage. He is going to escape. Probably. Yeah, he is going to escape. All right. See you later puppy. Yin Yang is pretty much useless. We have literally zero overcharge, right? Yeah, we have literally zero overcharge. <laughs> oh, we got a Yellowstone, though. Whoops, we just earned that one. I should have uh, socketed that. Oh, well. Well, I guess we might as well get started with the Actus Reyes. Eight is a bit of a low number, so we'll, we'll work on you first here. Yeah, I guess we'll battle plan. I was trying to think about saving the cape. It's not going to happen. I got to give up on that dream. Not really a good time for you, man. 
Not really what I was hoping for. Hang on to the bolster. I'm glad I started going after this guy. He's already down to four. We play a lot of cards with this deck before we actually do much damage. This guy might just blow up. But, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Okay, let's actually maneuver here, and then we can just ditch the evasion. Or the diversion, rather. This is just enough to kill you. So we will. And in this situation, I think we can just purge down everything. I only get rid of our burning. It stuck around a lot longer than it usually does. Okay. Six, huh? Let's get rid of the garbage cards from the hand. Mm, I think he's going to blow up, and I think I'm just going to have to deal with that. Yeah, he's definitely going to blow up. In that case, let's save our spell, I guess. We can at least hit this guy. And we'll hold the shield wall to block his explosion. We'll, we'll go ahead and kill you, and then we'll battle plan, dumping these, he puts 15 on the stack, mm, yeah, I guess we can just inconsequential this whole thing, let's, let's even, we'll sift one, then we'll do the other one with inconsequential, and now we can unleash for 23, I guess? It's not all that much damage, but it's something. Our corruption will continue to grow. They both have nice long fuses this time. Good. Uh, I do still think we need to kill some more, though. But I don't necessarily want to kill him right now. He doesn't attack for much, and, you know, while the fuse is still pretty long. It's not much of a concern, so we'll do this, and we'll hold the bolster. Because if we fail to draw the tower shield, we're pretty sad next turn. Yeah, okay, so I'll hold the bolster. Bolster plus wreath is good, tower shield is good. We got the spell. And, yeah, that was pretty much the worst-case scenario. We drew neither the Tower Shield nor the Wreath, and we did draw both of the Exhaustions. Yeah, I hate to see it happen. We can't even hardly do anything with this Wrath, because we can't purge these cards. Unfortunate. Truly unfortunate. So I'm gonna... gonna dump the Tower Shield at this point. We don't need it. This is, yeah, this is not that much damage. The Unleash is just better. It's just better. We'll spread the damage a little bit here. Take 11. Ouch. Do have a heal coming up. Do have a free heal. So if she shuffled away these two cards, that's fine. I think we're going to be holding the Tower Shield at this rate. Fuses are getting a little low. Let's get you. Four more is fine. Yeah, but we gotta we gotta start dumping damage on her hardcore. Got the health pot and the belt if need be, and when we use it, we block eight. So we can keep that in mind. Get rid of that crap. Purge down all of these, play this. Eight 
damage we're expected to deal to that guy is very annoying. Uh, we'll go ahead and dump this. We don't want to draw that. Fine, I guess I'll kill this guy. But I'm not happy about it. Ah, she's hitting so hard. Okay, the Inconsequential, unfortunately, is going to reshuffle the deck before we use it, so it doesn't actually block for almost anything. But we've got the Mensrea. Uh, this can kill the pig, so he won't explode. That's at least nice. I think we just go Shield Wall. Do I take this hit? I'll take this hit, man. I'll go all the way down. Okay, cool. So we got an off turn here. We just want to find as much damage as possible, basically. So let's get rid of some of this garbage. Get rid of more garbage. Yeah, we just want all damage. All damage. So this is 13 or 26 damage. These guys are more. All damage. And I think we get there. She's not going to attack again. On the, uh, we're not going to have to take her damage until two turns from now. Yeah, she attacks now. By this turn, we're already fine in terms of block. Do need to have a little bit of concern for the pigs, though. They're getting close to exploding. There's so much garbage left in the deck. So much garbage left. The Wrath is not going to be very good. I really wish this was enough to kill you. That sure would be convenient. Okay, we at least drew one exhaustion there. That's what I was hoping for. Okay, there's the other one too, because of the Death Strike. I totally forgot we had Death Strike. Uh, it's past the point of wrath being what we want, truthfully. If we could just play all of these, that's pretty much enough damage. So I think that's the plan here, is we just hold them. Yeah. Next turn we'll draw this, the piggy doesn't quite explode. Okay, whew, we made it. We made it, we are getting out of this act. Long fight, close call, but we did it. And we didn't have to use our health potion either. Very nice, very nice. Okay, upgrade points sound pretty sweet, man. Uh, if you upgraded the Actus Reus, it's the next two cards. Could be good. Uh, I really am just looking at upgrading these Unleashes, though. On the other hand, a booster pack with a free rare sure could be good, man. There are a lot of cards we would love to find. Haunted Familiar. Kingdom Comes. I think I'm tempted by the pack too much, dude. It could be anything. Self-inflicted agony is certainly not the one we want. Father's oh, Wallet's cool, though. Try again? Abyssal Humanity. Ugh. I mean, it's vulnerable, I guess. A very disappointing pack for the most part, though. Okay. I am going to step away real quick. Go take a quick bathroom bake. I will be right back.
All right. Let's take a look at what we have here. I'm seeing Doomed Descent. If we had a lot of Void Coin generation, that would be cool. We did just pick up this Father's Wallet, which is a decent amount. You know, maybe we could, like, Blackstone it or something. It'll be a way to get a lot of corruption. Um, currently, we are generating Void Coins exclusively through Wreath. That is all we have. Right? Yeah, that is it. But there's also the alms that gives some void coins. Hmm. Not as many as I was hoping there would be. Nonetheless, I think we'll look at it as an option. Uh, redirect could be cool. Reap and Sow as an attack that deals corruption damage is quite nice. Uh, same with Alms, actually, because we do have Death Strike. And Death Strike only works on attacks. Uh, let's just look at this. Okay. I'm wondering if we go to the Queen here instead of the Soul Collector. We could do Queen Stone Father's Wallet. That's pretty crazy. Okay, let's 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 think about this then. Uh, we want the doomed descent in that case. We could do this. Come around the bottom. We're never getting both of these, unfortunately, but that's just how it is. We can do this, and we have the choice to instead grab the upgrade here, right? Instead of the reap and so if we don't want it. <sighs> I mean, it seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. Let's let's look at what we have going on here. We can put some of this stuff in. Currently, I don't know if we want the Father's Wallet without the Doomed Descent. So I think we'll I think we'll wait on that. Uh, oh yeah, we have Girl's Best Friend too now. That's that's another attack that gets us some corruption. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna take out the Actus race. I think this thing came a little bit too late. Uh, Girl's Best Friend should be quite good though. Oh, and we have Passage Payment, huh? Okay, yo, okay, we're we're totally gonna pop off with this Doom Descent. Was that in the pack? I must have glossed over it. Yeah, okay, okay. We're, we're gonna do Doom Descent stuff. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be real good. Uh, let's put a yellow stone in this maneuver. The green stone will be for the Doomed Descent itself when we grab that. Yeah, and we can even upgrade it right away and make it nice and cheap. Although we frankly might not need to. Okay, okay, I feel good about this. I think this floor has a lot of potential opened up for us now. Okay, uh, just get started dumping this stuff. And I think we're going to hold the shield wall, right? I mean, actually, this is 8 block plus 10 from the Matador Cape. We probably don't need the shield wall. I will purge it. Okay, the Chosen Champ is going to need to die, though. Definitely have to do something about that. Uh, drop a curse shield here. Maneuver. Wrath. Hmm, that's a bit awkward. If we could get to one of these cards. Let's see what the battle plan gets us. Hmm, okay. I think I'm just gonna take one here, you know? I really want to kill this champ. Yeah, I mean, we have to purge to get the kill, right? Could leave him alive and pick him off next turn with a Void Kiss? Maybe that's fine. I mean, it's one damage, right? Surely we'll be fine. We've got a couple health potions. Yeah, okay, you know what? 
We'll be fine. This gets us the Delay Rage, too, which is nice, because we actually have an attack. And the Unleashes are getting somewhere. We got another Chosen Champ. What a... What an unfortunate turn of events. So, okay, let's see. We could inconsequential to dump this. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to do that. This is all the block we need, and it gives us some more discard. Keep the unleashes. Yeah, okay, we'll go ahead and void kiss you. We don't need this. We probably want to save that. This is almost enough. If we use the spell and send this, still not quite enough. Okay, so be it. I think the shield wall should have us covered fine. Okay, we even got the wreath too. Put a couple void coins in the deck, why not? Uh, this is 9 block. It's so close. It's very annoying. We're always killing you. That has to happen. I think I'm just going to take another 1 damage. Is this worth playing? Probably not. Uh, if we're even remotely lucky, we'll have a really good turn on this coming... Oh, the battle plan loss sucks there, but we can have a pretty decent chance at doing stuff with... Wrath and Girl's Best Friend here. In fact, let's dump this. We'll discard this. Because this has got 100% rage on it. 44 damage, and this is dealing 36 damage. Yeah, okay, not bad, not bad. Panther Ray! Hey, what's going on, man? 1.0 hype! Very, very cool. See this game finally at 1.0 status. So much new awesome stuff. Hope you're all enjoying it, man. I know I am. Although I've, I've been enjoying it for a couple weeks now, so... Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> been playing on the, the internal branch. Okay, uh, so Father's Wallet is actually a sick upgrade. So we're going to do that. And then here, we'll grab the Doom Descent and upgrade that. Do we play the Father's, the Father's Wallet even right now? Uh, kind of want to. Honestly, I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the blue Inconsequential and we'll put it in with the Father's Wallet. But we're totally going to Queenstone this thing. It's going to be awesome. It is going to be so sick. Uh, looks like a really uninteresting hand here. Just gonna purge everything down, relying on this Matador cape. Okay, we got the Father's Wallet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and Father's Wallet here. Dump all of these. Dump some of these. Uh, we could get Death Strike, but we somehow managed to not draw Void Kiss in the midst of all that, so it's not all that useful. Nonetheless, we'll want it eventually, so sure. You know what, actually, let's, let's just do this now. Sift the Diversion. There's a lot of good draws coming up here. Man, I really wanted Wrath most of all, but it's fine because we can still do some stuff here with the Void Kiss. He's taunting us, so we gotta go after him. There goes the Death Strike. Fifty-four damage, not bad, not bad. I suppose we could have gone after the Assassin anyway, because of the uh, fact that we can still target past Taunt with abilities and most of our damage is abilities.
I guess we will keep the Unleash at this point. Okay, Father's Wallet. Drop, drop, drop. Can send one of them. 26. But you're just taunting again, really? <laughs> so we could play all three of these, which would be uh, 26 plus 20 plus 20. So uh, 66, not quite enough. So I guess we'll just hold on to the tower shield, since that's pretty much all the block we need. And we will hit you for a bit. Panther, have you done any runs on uh, 1.0 yourself? Found any of the new stuff yet? So I'm curious if anything uh, stood out to you. Very happy with uh, how most of the new relics and stuff turned out. Got some really cool stuff in there. Let's get a butterfly trigger here, huh? Now we can play both. Uh, one on impossible. Hadn't played in a long time, so I kind of didn't notice what's new. Well, hey, it's like everything's new then. <laughs> it's like everything's new at that point. Let's get some rage going on here. Uh, hmm. Can't quite afford the father's wallet here, but uh, girl's best friend. Uh, we don't even need it. But we might as well. This guy is so pathetic when he's on his own. He just doesn't do anything. Hiya! Okay, upgrade points. More upgrade points. Uh, we probably should just put the Doom Descent down to two mana. That seems like a pretty big deal. This is going to become the focal point of the deck, after all. As soon as we get to the Queen, get that juicy Queen Stone. And what's nice is, even though we're taking this big, long, convoluted path, there's really only one extra fight we're taking here, right? And instead of just if we went the direct path, we have to take this fight anyway. So we can go all the way down here, and it barely wastes us any time. Pretty nifty. Okay. Uh, Doomed Descent. Take this green stone and get in my deck. As for what we're cutting, I guess we can cut and unleash at this point. This is going to generate us a lot of corruption. And part of the reason we wanted to have so many uh, unleashes right now was just to uh, discard them to gain corruption. But now we can be using void coins. So to that end, I think we will also take out... Well, actually... Hmm. I don't know, I'm strongly considering the Passage Payment. Strongly considering it. Maybe instead of a Curse Shield. Okay, I'll cut one more Unleash for Passage Payment. We'll see how this does for us. In terms of new stuff we have in this run, the, uh, the Matador Cape and the Stone Sling are both new. Uh, the Keg of Lucky Rum got a neat little buff, so you get 8 Delay Block when you brew a potion, and 8 Block when you use the Belt Potion. Uh, the Pale Butterfly, uh, this one we didn't change. But yeah, all, all these other ones have some new stuff going on, so that's cool. Doomed Descent into Father's Wallet immediately. There goes the matter to a Cave Charge, but hey. What can you do? Uh, let's just purge down here, and, uh, we could Wrath you for 54. Should I? I probably should. And, I mean, Maneuver's really well positioned against this ability, so I th think we will keep it. I think that is the plan here. Oh, and the Wreath, too. Oh, this is sick! Wreath... Passage payment. Oh, baby. We are going off. We are going off. Did not even need the maneuver. Uh, this burning is absolutely terrifying, though. Holy cow. Please, I would like some less burning. 
Uh, we're going to reshuffle those so the spell can sift out our uh, diversion. So that's nice. Still, eesh, that's a lot of damage. Got Void Coins in there, though, so let's go ahead and Passage Payment. You're not looking too hot right now, Tower Shield. I gotta say, three mana block eight, not a fan. Uh, just keep dumping the Unleashes for now. We'll send the last Void Coin here. Discard the Diversion. Uh... This is two separate instances of block, so that's pretty nice at least. We'll get the bolster up. We gotta try and control the burning to the best of our ability. We sure are scaling our corruption up way faster now, though. That's very nice. Very nice indeed. And big old boost now with the father's wallet. Dump those void coins. Um, hmm. Plenty of good stuff to draw into off the Void Kiss here, so I think we're going to drop the Bolster. Double this Void Kiss up with the Death Strike we already had. Dang, dude. Uh, okay, there we go. Nice. We got the Void Coins. Finally. Oh, baby, look at us go. Look at us go. Now we can either do this for 72, or this for 36. I think I know which I would rather have. Nice. We should be in the clear now. Uh, 48 corruption is an awful lot. So I think we can just uh, use regular unleashes. How many void coins in the deck? None! Unacceptable. Uh, I guess we'll just sift the diversion now. Here the passage payment. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. No problemo. And we get another wrath turn. Not that it's even remotely necessary. Okay, heck yeah, dude. The Doom Descent is doing exactly what I hoped it would do. Um Getting Sift one here is okay. I, I just want more Void Coins, man. That's all I want. More Void Coins. Don't really have any upgrades that give me more Void Coins, though. Not really. Because, like, technically this gives you one more, but that's single use. So, I think I'm just going to upgrade the Battle Plan here. A bit more draw and discard will be helpful. Uh, feeling good about this elite man. I think we'll have no problem taking him on. Especially once we pick ourselves up the drinking alcohol. Draw two extra cards. Gain two less energy. Sounds pretty good to me. Oh, it's the Dolus, huh? Well, uh, thanks for the free Doom Descent, I guess. Are we holding anything for next turn? I don't know, man. This hand is pretty garbo. The shield wall isn't the worst thing in the world. I guess I'll hang on to it. Matador Cape will be ready to go. Spell's ready to go. She's always so scary to fight, man. But, uh... At the very least, we don't care about our Void Coins getting randomized, so that's nice. Three cost wreath, really? Two cost passage payment, really? I'm going to play them anyway, but I'm going to complain about it the whole time. <laughs> okay, Tower Shield for next turn looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and get some cycling. Oh, Father's Wallet for free. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Uh, I don't think so, Wrath. Sorry. It's a lot of poison we just got, though. Okay, um, this is a pretty good bolster here. I think we're going to continue to hold this tower shield. Let's get you going. 
keep discarding the unleashes. We need more corruption. It's way too expensive. I will not pay for you for that. Keep going. We gotta cycle back around. We need the father's wallet. So much draw and discard at this point. If we could find Wrath to line up with the uh, girl's best friend, that would be pretty great as well. Okay, I think that's the play here, because we got five cards. We're guaranteed to draw the Wrath because of the uh, drinking alcohol. Uh, this will be a real big girl's best friend. Maybe we can even get uh, lucky and get the bolster to Death Strike it, too. Okay, uh, so there's no Void Coins right now. So the Passage Payment is not very useful. Uh, I will play this Father's Wallet, though. Ba -ba -ba. Uh, yep, keep discarding the Unleashes. Do some Purging. There's gonna be a lot of poison. Here's our block. We did not get the Death Strike, but that's okay. How big is the girl's best friend? 140 damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, if you ask me. Of course, this is a huge amount of damage for us this turn, but we got a tower shield coming up, so I'm not too worried. Yeah, look at that. One cost tower shield. And we can even do maneuver to discard the diversion. Yeah, we're looking good, man. We are looking good. There's the tower shield. This is the rest of the block. I will continue to pay for these father's wallets, even if they're expensive. It is so worth it. Yeah, we got back to the girl's best friend and the wrath in hand. How big can we make this one? Uh, we could sit from the deck, too, but that's not helpful, so we're not gonna. 105 damage. Oh man, we were we were really struggling towards the end of Act Two there, but or Act One, excuse me. This Doom Descent has made all the difference. Huh, I was kind of hoping we wouldn't draw that Void Coin, but if you're gonna give me a free battle plan, I guess I can't be too upset. Okay, and this is completely unnecessary, but I just gotta see the big number. One seventy-seven. Get blasted. Okay, two more regular fights until we get to our sweet, sweet Queenstone. And hey, this is another uh, Void Coin Generator. We will probably play this, even though it's single use. Uh, the upgrade on this one is uh, not particularly relevant, so we don't care that much. Love the artwork on this one, too, man. Very clean looking card. Yo, you love to see it. The opening hand, Father's Wallet. Uh, unfortunately, it does waste the block for Matador Cape, but the weak goes to use quite nicely. Uh, passage Payment does not have any targets, so it's just there to add Void Coins, which, I mean, honestly, I'm okay with. I like Void Coins. It sifts our wrath as well, I guess, so for what that's worth. Get rid of you. And, uh... I think we'll just hold the, uh, bolster, actually. Get some nice death strike for our girl's best friend. The goal here is always going to be trying to kill the flesh beast on turn three. Because that's when Rotting Gut Fiend will, uh, explode and kill himself for us. Which is quite handy. Okay, so the tower shield is overkill. Go ahead and throw down the bolster. Uh, curse shields are ready to go. How much damage is this right now? 46. That's pretty good. A lot of void coins coming up, so I'm not too worried about this block. Let's just smack him around a little bit, and we'll try to deal 47 next turn. Uh, this guy's worth 50%, this guy's worth 80%, so if they're both dead, then no more respawns, and all we have left to do is finish off the Exalted Warrior. Which is not so bad. It is not. 
Get a real nice void coin chain going on here. Uh, do we need this unleash? We actually might. Yeah, let's drop this one, though, the, the unupgraded one. We got the girl's best friend still in the deck. No void coins in the deck for the passage payment. So I guess we're not going to play you this time around. I really want to find the girl's best friend here. So let's try and dig with the father's wallet. And to make it a little bit more likely, we'll dump one more card out of the deck. We drew the battle plan. That's a good start. There it is. Love to see it. Not quite a kill right now, but that's fine because we're going to be purging more. Actually, you know, we might be able to kill the, the big boy himself at this rate. Because we can play both of these. That's 78. Oh, Jeez, man. Yeah, we don't even need to... Wow. That is a lot of damage. That is an awful lot of damage. Okay, let's purge you too, then. And, uh, you gotta be kidding me, really? <laughs> he doesn't die? Okay, but that's fine, because we can do this. You have one health, and you're the only thing left. One health. Very nice, very nice. All right, lost and found. Uh, we are about to go to a couple places where we could spend money, so maybe think about not uh, spending too much. Zero cards in the lost and found this time somehow. Uh, can we even afford any of this? I guess the stew would be nice. No, we can't afford it, it's too expensive. I love this new artwork, man. This was one of the new things added for 1.0. These dudes are so cool. I like the guy in the smoky sensor the most. This was uh, one of the new artifacts that we added for 1.0 as well that he's sitting inside. And it's a great artifact too, for enlightened. Okay, potion shop. We probably don't need anything because we have the keg, so we've got a whole bunch of potions. Somehow we didn't get a stealth potion yet, which I kind of want to have one, but I'd rather have more money at the shop to try and find some more void coin generation. So sorry, potion lady. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Is this void coin generation? Yeah, man. Josh really knocked it out of the park with the art in this game. Which I guess shouldn't come as a surprise because he was he's literally an artist that just learned to code to make this game. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I guess, I guess of course the artwork is good. Uh, Death's Embrace looking very nice. Allomancy looking not as nice because it'll eat up our Death Strike sometimes on accident, but it's really good with Wrath. Uh, we're always doing this. The draw and discard is big there. I, I think I'll do this. Yeah, Josh did like almost all of the art for this game. He, uh, he had some help on the cards, because, I mean, there's 450-something cards in the game. <laughs> so I know he got some help with that. Um, but yeah, he did He did a ton of the artwork all by himself. So, dude, dude is an absolute legend with how hard he worked on this game. How many more upgrades do we have? One more upgrade? That's it, huh? Just one more upgrade. But there's nothing that's, like, really dying to be upgraded here. So I think we can just take... The Allomancy? Yeah, I'm gonna take it and we'll upgrade it here. Mm, passage payment doesn't do very much here. It's a little bit sad. I'll do it anyway just to generate some void coins. Uh, hopefully we can trigger the Matador Cape next time. Ah, Father's Wallet. Right on time. How about some more Void Coins from Wreath? Shouldn't need you. Let's get cracking. And we can do even more discarding. Dump all of these. Uh, we probably just save the spell here. 
boy kiss you. Yo, we got back to the father's wallet? Amazing. Simply incredible. Look at us go. And there's two void coins in the... Oh my god, dude. I can't be stopped. Also, the wreath we used was uh, fumbled. So we still have another real wreath to generate more void coins with. I think I'll hang on to this for next turn. Up to 32 corruption already. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's start with the wreath here. And then we'll start the chain of discards like this. We didn't draw a single void coin, really? Interesting. Let's do this. Dude, what the heck? Come on! Where are my void coins? We're actually gonna take three damage, dude? No way. I, I thought for sure we would draw either this, 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 or this. It wasn't meant to be. It's alright though, we don't get perfect bonuses anyway, because of the modifiers that I have turned on, so... The only concern would be our actual health, and we've got uh, a couple of health potions to our name. Yeah, one in the belt here, one in the bag. And then, uh... We've got the, the shrine coming up where we can pray for health if need be. Hopefully the need is not be, but, you know, so there's an option. Okay, wallet time. We got the Wrath. We got the girl's best friend. Is he just dead? He might be. He might be just dead. We've even got the bolster here as well. Okay, so let's actually battle plan first. Oh my god, we were popping off. Yeah, okay, so we can go bolster for death strike. 338 damage. Alright. Uh, what kind of B do we want here? Um, I think... Huh. I actually don't know. I guess blue is probably the one. Yeah, we'll take the water bead. And the upgrade... Oh, I didn't even put in the cards I bought at the card shop, dude. I forgot. We'll upgrade the Alamancy. Okay. So we want... Honestly, less unleashes. I'm gonna cut two more unleashes. One for Death's Embrace, one for Alamancy. Uh, we get a Blackstone. Where do we want the Blackstone? Maybe Death's Embrace? That's a pretty good one. Hmm. This is a real decision. Where do we want this black stone? <laughs> Maybe Alamancy. Actually, yeah, let's let's put it on Alamancy, huh? That sounds fun. And we'll cut another Unleash for an Alms. Yeah, I like the expel at this point. I want the deck to be small. Girl's best friend? Uh, yeah, I mean, it could be. It could be. It is more damage, of course. Uh, we aren't getting any more upgrades from this stuff, though, unless we decide we want to go this way. But this is the biggest deal right now, is this Queen Stone. We're going to put this on our father's wallet. It is going to be a good time. Uh, the other options we have here, Purge to Sap, the next card played. Mm, not really. This is basically just for free Expel. Purge, Lady Block 5, and Loop. If we had anything that already had a purge effect, it'd be really good. Uh, so, like, I guess if we had upgraded the tower shield, that would have been nice. But I don't think we have any purge effects at all right now, somehow. Hmm. Perhaps we just save all of our souls and hit the void really hard, huh? I mean, I guess this is crazy... 
if we can specifically use it to get the queen stoned father's wallet back. So sure, you know, we'll, we'll grab that one and that'll be all the souls we spend. Okay, uh, take out the blue stone, put on the queen. And then this, uh, just something that we purge a lot? What do we purge a lot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what we purge a lot. Uh, I guess we'll just put it on a random curse shield. Oh yeah, we picked this up uh, randomly. It had a void stone in it already. I forgot to take that out. Thanks for catching that. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to put this on a random curse shield. The blue stone now can go on... Uh, bolster? Sure, I want to spread out the draw effects. The yellow stone doesn't matter that much. Slap it on a void kiss. Okay. Time to see what we can really do now. I think it's going to be a little bit wacky. A little bit kooky. Oh my... Dude, <laughs> we literally got the combo immediately. Okay, because we play the Doom Descent. We purge the Curse Shield. So now the Father's Wallet goes back on top of the deck. We play the Father's Wallet. Of course, we actually have to have a different thing to trigger the discard now. The Father's Wallet will not trigger its own discard, but that's what Death's Embrace is for. <laughs> and then we get back Father's Wallet. Oh my god. This is pretty unreal. We'll discard you and you, I guess. Why not? Play the Father's Wallet again. Uh, it's not really time for passage payment. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the diversion. Oh my god, and now the passage payment is live. Actually, it just... No, it's still live. Yeah, passage payment is still live. So we can purge that, play the passage payment. Uh, I guess we want to purge you. This is completely ridiculous. We're already up to 32 corruption so far. <laughs> Holy cow, and we're going to have so much rage for the Allomancy. Because, yeah, we can... I'm just going to purge it all the way down. Oh, my God. <laughs> 29 void coins. 29. This is dealing 180 damage already. Oh my god, this is this is easily the most void coins I've ever created. <laughs> oh my god. This is completely ridiculous. Uh I I'm 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 at a loss. I don't even know what to do at this point. I truly don't. I guess we'll sift <laughs> We'll sift one of the void coins. Uh, we can pitch the Wrath at this point. We've purged enough. We can do it one more time for good measure. <laughs> 225 damage, turn one. Not even Death Strike, by the way. It could have been bigger. Oh my god. How did I get to 29? Well, that was courtesy of a very specific interaction between... Wrath and Allomancy. Wrath says, while in hand, when you purge, you gain 50% rage. Allomancy says, for each damage you deal, you put two void coins in the deck. I had like 225% rage. The Allomancy has a black stone in it, so I could play it twice. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> those two. That's all you need. We, we are cooking with gas now, dude. What an insane run. Of course, our hand is entirely Void Coins, which is to be expected, but now we can just discard forever. <laughs> this is goofy. This is comical. Still gone, still gone, still gone. <laughs> okay. 
We're f we're finally done. There we go. There we go. That was the last void coin. Oh my lord. The void is not gonna know what hit it, dude. The void is not going to know. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? I don't know what that was. Some kind of crazy particle effect. <laughs> Holy cow. Oms is dealing 100 damage. Seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and wallet. Okay, um... How much is this Void Kiss? Not enough. I guess we actually have to use the alms. It's like super duper overkill, but... Oh wait, no, we can we can do this. Yeah, there we go. Hold the alms for next turn. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go highlight that. That was ridiculous. Or who knows, maybe something even more insane is about to happen. What an, what, a, what an amazing run this has been. Truly. Okay, we got the bolster this time. We can get even more. Uh, we can get Death Strike. Although, we're already overkilling the crap out of these guys, so, like, it, it doesn't even matter. It just doesn't even matter. <laughs> the cannon just blasting them. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, we could go get a... We could go get an upgrade, huh? It probably is better than the shrine, to be honest. And we definitely don't need the reap and sow at this point. We really don't. So, just for you, one man army, we'll go upgrade our uh, girl's best friend, huh? Mm, okay, well, this is going to be a significantly less wacky allomancy. Quite sadly so. It's still a lot, though. 19 corruption instantly, not bad. We got 16 void coins in the deck. Jeez, man. That is kooky. Oh, I just realized something, I think. When we're playing the Allomancy, it's triggering the Stone Sling, which deals one damage to all enemies. I think that's actually adding extra void coins, right? Wasn't that way too many void coins? Is that what's going on? Is the stone sling secretly causing crazy allomancy synergy? Because it's one damage to everything. Yeah, that's got to be what's going on. Because I'm playing it twice, which means I'm hitting one, two, three, four, five, six extra times. Which is two void coins per. That's 12 more void coins, right? Because by itself, it's only dealing 2 damage from 2 plays, which is 4 Void Coins. 4 plus the 12 is 16. We figured it out. The stones... <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe that's how that works. Because, like, obviously the, the Wrath interaction should still produce a, a huge number of Void Coins, but... But clearly something was off here. It's the Stone Sling. Man, and I'm like, oh, we have we have Queenstone Father's Wallet. We have Wrath plus Alamancy. No, dude. Stone Sling is what's making it go absolutely insane. Of all the things. Would not have expected that. Okay, uh, so we need to get to Father's Wallet here. Let's see what we can do. There it is, Father's Wallet. Uh, I guess we don't need you, or you, or you, or you, oh my god, uh, passage, <laughs> everything is good, there's too much good stuff, okay, we probably can't afford the bolster anyway, it's too expensive, so we can purge the curse shield, to set up the father's wallet, to dump void coins, to draw the father's wallet, Oh, whoops, I misclicked. That's fine. <laughs> we really don't need it. It's getting the hand is getting a little crowded. It's <laughs> oh, we drew the Alamancy. We drew the Alamancy again. How about some more rage? Some more rage. Uh, let's battle plan for more rage. Dump that, dump that. 
set up the Allomancy. How many Void Coins? <laughs> any any bets in the chat? How many Void Coins is this going to produce? <laughs> we got three in the deck right now. Let, let's see what happens. I bet we end up with like, I don't know, 50? <laughs> Nope, 35. Okay. I was going a little overboard there. But we can't just go ahead and kill you. And uh, now we're going to have just like infinite uh, cards. If we could chain these together for once. Oh, whoops. I, I wasn't supposed to click that. I was supposed to click this. That's fine. What a hand. <laughs> this is so stupid. This is one of the dumbest things I've ever done in this game. And I've done some dumb things, let me tell you. <laughs> and then the settings button just explodes. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Um, so we should just be killing these guys, right? Yeah. Get rid of that. Alms one of them down. This is somehow not enough to kill yet. Somehow. But... We'll, uh... We'll save the Father's Wallet, right? Oh, no, we'll just play the Father's Wallet and then trigger it on itself. There we go. Man, I can't wait to take on the Void. This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, okay. Girl's best friend. Dude. Nah. We're not bothering with that fight anymore. We got bigger things to do. We got bigger fish to fry. It's time to take on the Void. So we're just going to beeline our way there. First, though, we do have to do three more fights. I think I turned off Praetorian, right? I did, yeah. So just this boss, two Vault Guardians, and then the Void. I'm so ready. He's going to get obliterated. We start with Allomancy. Do I try and, like, save to make it even crazier? That's probably greedy. That's probably greedy. There's no need. Uh, we don't want to target the Birth Pit itself, though. So we'll go you, and then we'll just, uh, passage payment them. I did not remember about that, the Pale Butterfly. We had to, <laughs> we had to discard the wallet. It's fine. I am not concerned about this fight. Omega dunking a single target is really easy these days, it turns out. Uh, let's start the chain like this, so that we can hopefully draw Wrath. We drew Wrath, nice. Okay, let's get a battle plan in here. Uh, there's a Void Coin there. I guess we'll just use Death's Embrace here. Get the Reshuffle. Battle plan's back, okay. I guess we can battle plan. Okay, yeah, nice. How much is this up to? 96. It's actually not that crazy. We'll go around again. Okay, 50% chance to draw Allomancy, and if we don't, we can just do this instead. Okay, so we need to purge twice, so it's, uh, Wrath has to go now, if we want to double Allomancy, which we do. Thirty-two. Not bad. Imagine if we had, like, the Midnight Clock where it's like every 12 discards you deal 12 damage to everyone. That would be funny. 
That would be supremely wacky. Because this isn't wacky enough. We need to go wackier. Oh, <laughs> they're buffing themselves up so much. I didn't think about that. Every time we draw a card, <laughs> they, they tick themselves up. They're going to be so huge. Good thing it's not going to matter. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we're just looking for the girl's best friend at this point, yeah? 77 corruption, that's gotta be plenty. So, I think we can purge this in battle plan. Okay, we got alms. That should be pretty good too, right? Oh, but we wanted death strike. Yeah, we want we wanted a bolster for death strike. Don't really need any more allomancy. That's quite enough allomancying. Okay, we got the bolster. Is Girl's Best Friend still in there? It is. So what we're just going to do is hold the bolster, because if we play it and the blue stone makes us draw and discard the Girl's Best Friend, it's a complete disaster. And then we'll get it with the Best Friend next turn. It's not going to kill, because we won't have almost any rage, but it will deal a lot. This is actually a huge amount of damage. Bolster... Okay, how much are we at? 168, not bad, but we can do better. So let's do this. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll set up the Father's Wallet here. And then we'll sift one out. Get the Father's Wallet back. This is just to stack up the corruption right now. We don't want to waste the Death Strike on Alamancy if we can help it. How much is Alms doing? It's oh, getting there. Guess we'll wall it again. These fights have become so long. Got some Brace to start the chain. Okay, we got back to Wrath. That's very good. Uh, we don't really need you or you. So we can start purging. Get more Rage with Battle Plan. We drew Father's Wallet again. We can get more Death Strike. Uh, let's 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 go for more Wallet. We need more Wallet. We're not gonna use the Alamancy. We already decided. Now we can Death Strike the Alms, which is 125% corruption damage. <laughs> 1,830 damage, and that's not even the max. We can go further. We can go even further beyond 2,422. I think that's the most damage I've ever done with a single hit in this game. My previous record was like 1950-something. <laughs> oh, that was glorious. <laughs> Simply incredible. Truly. <laughs> wow, dude. Okay, we'll take 10 souls. Uh, thresholds always count as met. I don't have any thresholds. Right? But I could put some in. Are there any thresholds we care about putting in? We have, uh... We have this. That's kind of interesting. I guess it's vulnerable. We don't actually have any vulnerable right now, do we? That's, uh, that, that's not bad. That's not bad. One-man army did 1,600 the day with the deal damage based on she and a lot of rage. Yeah, that's a, that's a good way to deal an enormous amount. <laughs> but yeah, I've never seen quite that much before. Is it worth it for the Abyssal Unity? Too vulnerable on everyone? Maybe. Versus the Void, that's a little hard to actually make use of. I don't know. I mean, we could take a booster pack with a rare, but like, do we actually need... <laughs> do we need any more cards? 
I'll just take the spoon and make my choice later. Take 414 damage, sir. I haven't even... I, <laughs> You have, or have no idea what is in store for you. But you're not going to like it. I promise you that. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, redirect. Redirect would actually be hilarious, too. Um... Oh, but wait, no, we're, we're always putting the Void Coins in the deck with uh, Allomancy, because I upgraded it. If I hadn't upgraded it, I guess it would have been funny with Redirect, but this is better. So, uh, yeah, we don't need Redirect. Yeah, we don't, we don't really need any of this stuff, to be honest. We really don't. Abyssal Unity is the only one that's like a maybe, and I'm feeling like it's probably just not worth it. Like, do we, do we really need the Vulnerable, honestly? It would make the number bigger, which is funny. Uh, what kind of blessings do we want here? 40% damage on Void Touch, Delay Block 7, Overcharge, 20% damage. Overcharge sounds really good. I think we'll start with this one. We have a Magillion Potions. So, versus the Void, I think we're going to want to have a Belted Rage. Actually, versus the Void, we'll probably belt up the Crippling Potion, because that'll apply Vulnerable to him. If, we, if we're against the Void, we'll have this when he's solo for two Vuln. And then in the Brew will be the Rage Potion for 50% uh, Rage? Or is it just better to have the extra draw? I don't know. But versus this guy, I guess we can do Energy and Health, I guess? Sure. Wrath in the opening hand is a bit unfortunate, but we can discard it, I guess. Depending on what we draw here. Actually, let's do this. Use the spell on Diversion. Okay, we got a Void Kiss. Uh, it's possible we can go off on this turn. Okay, we're not going to use the Wrath, though. Just a simple Father's Wallet, Death's Embrace. Very nice, very nice. The special Cursed Shield is still in the deck. Um, so it's way too early for Girl's Best Friend, so you can just go away. We could bolster the Death Strike here. I think I will. Purge down both of these. Take Void Coins, take Void Coins. Ended up with a nice 18 there. Not bad for having no Rage. I wonder what we're going to draw this turn. Hmm. <laughs> Oops, all void coins. Oh man, I sure do have to click a lot. I'm going to have to carpal tunnel by the time this run is over. Oh, the Allomancy is back, and we've got the Wrath in hand. So, let's start with a battle plan here. Okay, we got the Father's Wallet. Go for some setup. Get more Rage. Allomancy. And then we're going to Father's Wallet in the middle here. There's real cards in here. We'll get to them. There we go. Okay. Now we can purge down further. Uh, I don't think we're going to bolster. It's not going to happen. <laughs> 28. How big is the Wrath? 72 damage. Not bad. Not bad. I think I'll save my energy, though. We're setting a new damage record each fight. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to do this. Nah, nah, this doesn't make sense. We're always going to use a, a void coin for the hex. Hey, girl's best friend is already at 93 base. Just 
Just looking for uh, Death Strike and or Rage. Uh, I guess we don't need you. Still got Void Coins in there, so we'll Passage Payment them. Uh, see if we can keep going. We can't keep going. On this? No, okay. Well, Bolster at least gives us the Death Strike we wanted. So currently we are at 200 damage. Uh, Wrath is in the discard. I think I'll just take the 200 here. Okay, we can freely Allomancy here. Nothing really to wait on, right? I don't think so. We could try to get the Curse Shield, actually, to purge and set up the Allomancy. Let's do that. Okay, we got it. Very nice. Uh, guess we'll dump you, because now we can purge this, play this, purge this, play this, play this, draw it back, play it again. We got 11. We're just going to cycle back around to the girl's best friend and get the kill. Or the alms, actually. Either one. We haven't used alms yet. <laughs> These six void coins hand, dude. That's never going to get old. Especially watching them all stack up like that is hilarious. Okay, we got the wrath, we got the alms. And we got the girl's best friend. At 150, 120. All right, yeah. I think we've messed around with him enough. Okie doke. And uh, next we said... I guess the Void Touch starting with damage is pretty nice. So we'll just put an Exploding Bottle here. Uh, I should drink this potion. So I'm at full health. Not that it matters, but I should do it. <laughs> so let's just do that now before we forget. And I guess we'll get started here. We'll get the chain going with our spell. Wait, kiss for some more. Hmm, that was pretty uneventful, actually. <clears throat> These guys are still, like, a threat to a degree. Not really, but, like, technically, you know. Passage payment down. So many void coins, and we're not drawing them. Uh, I guess we don't need the battle plan. We do want the bolster. Or should I have just discarded the wrath, honestly? Yeah. Given the way things are going here, we'll do that now. There's all those coins I missed earlier. This is close to killing one of them, I guess. <laughs> We're like actually gonna have to pick them off one at a time. As funny as that is. Okay, so like I could do more Allomancy here, but I should probably just like actually kill some of them. I guess we could Allomancy once. Sure. Uh, just get Father's Wallet gone. 
ten void coins in hand. Okay. Plenty of block. That was not what I meant to discard. It's getting very difficult to choose. Alright, we'll kill you. We'll kill you. We'll try to draw into our Unleashed Darkness. Oh, okay, no, the, uh, the Wrath should do it. Bonk. Okay, okay. It is time, finally, at long last, to turn the Void into a uh, dark purple smear on the ground. So I think I will take... I think I will just take the extra draw, honestly. And here we'll have the Vulnerable. Because, like, the Rage Potion is 50% each turn, but on the turn, when we have Wrath in hand, an extra card is also 50% Rage. So I think this is best. And this for the Vulnerable is clearly going to be best, because the only other way to get Vuln for us is to have the stupid Abyssal Unity in, and this is way too expensive. So let's go! It does actually matter trying to take out these guys as quickly as possible. And it looks like we got a pretty good starting hand here, so let's get to it. I don't think the bolster's happening this turn. There's the wrath. Oh. I just misclicked and discarded the freaking uh, alms. Or uh, alamancy. That's a bit of a mistake. But we well, can cycle back around to it. Let's go after you. Okay, the Death's Embrace is in there. So if we sift the Cursed Shield... There's no Void Coins in here, right? Oh, there's two? Okay, we'll get rid of you. Now we're guaranteed to draw Death's Embrace. Then we can use the Death's Embrace. I actually did not want that to happen. I wanted to keep one of those Void Coins in there. We'll discard the one Void Coin that we have here, and it looks like that's the end of the chain for now. Got the 22 Corruption. Yeah, it's a shame that I uh, accidentally discarded the, uh, the Alms there. Or the, the Alamancy, jeez. Okay, it's still in there. We'll get to it. Let's go set up the Father's Wallet. We don't have any Death Strikes, we can just throw this out. There goes the Father. It's so hard to click the right stuff with as many cards in hand. Okay, we've got the Wrath at this point. We're just looking for... No, we already have the Alamancy. Time to start purging. We want to kill pretty quickly here. I don't think we need this or this. I guess we can do this. Yeah, Void Coin is really good there. We don't need the Death Strike. We don't need you. God, we have a lot of rage. Okay, so these are already killing at least Alms is. Alamance you. Oh, I should have purged this one more time right there. Now, girl's best friend will kill you. Alms will kill you. Gain the energy. Okay. So we got one garbage card in the deck. That's not bad at all. We just need to uh, dunk the void now. How quickly can we manage that? We've got the cursed shield thing. With the stone. Okay, we don't need you. We got any Void Coins in the deck? We don't. Man, we don't have, like, any of the stuff we actually want right now. So let's dump this. Hey, there's the Alamancy. Very good. 
And we'll try and Void Kiss into something good here. Father's... Oh, man. This is like everything. This is everything we wanted. Play the Father's Wallet. Death's Embrace the Coins. Okay. Okay, yeah. We're, we're cooking. We're cooking. We're going to... Do we want to reshuffle? Yes, we do. Send that and that. And that, why not? That garbage. Alamancy twice. This is already up to quite a bit of damage, but we can do better. Another Alamancy. The Wrath itself is dealing 72. Now that's small potatoes. Okay, we should have plenty more. Yep, 25 more, so we'll passage them. Keep clicking, man. You just keep clicking. They never go away. Okay. Okay, it's time to get our Death Strike. We already used the Alms, and that expels. So all that's left is Girl's Best Friend. Uh, I guess we don't need you. There's the Wrath. Don't need you. Let's Father's Wallet. We can purge this down. And this to then bolster, get the Death Strike, and start a new chain. that to discard the garbage. Uh, more rage. We don't need an extra stack of death strike. Doesn't matter. Anything left in here that we want to draw? Not really, no. So I think it's time to just get as much rage as we can here. And now we'll do this for extra corruption. Oh wait, that just spent my death strike. That was foolish. I also didn't use the potion. Twelve fifty-three. It's good enough. <laughs> Not quite as big as we had earlier. It was Twenty-four, twenty-two. I think was the the amount we had earlier. Holy cow! That one would have been bigger if it had been doubled from the death strike. But jeez, oh man. That might be the strongest deck I've ever built.